like I say, um, at Auschwitz um, or in, in some of the other work sites, um, like the Jew, the the Jewish people, the German people, or where 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 Jew, um, you could say Jews start or um, Jewish people start. Realistically, they're just a pacifistic form of version uh, version of of Germans, basically. Um, I forget. It's this one great group. Like, like I say, I love them so much. Like, I remember them very, very well. I mean, they were they were very good. They would always say, "We are the lucky ones because we are here in Auschwitz." Um, like I said, Auschwitz actually operated perfectly for probably um, 150 years, 75 years. I I maintained an iron will, iron law. You know, just like. <laughs> There will not be abuse, you know, basically, um, where everything was checked. People, well, people would go to jail for about one or two days or some other form of punishment. Um, I tried to protect as many people as I could, like I say, from from abuse, from from anything like that. And we are, and, and they were huddled together. And um, I tried to get them rolled over into into houses and buildings and stuff like that. Like I said, I was building new houses every day. And the Germans didn't really mind it, or the Jewish people didn't really mind it because of the fact that, that like I say, they were working, they were growing their own food, and I was paying them. I was basically paying them to live, pretty much. They grew their food, they built their block walls, and they shoveled. And yeah, it was hard. There was a lot of manual labor, but we were working on getting things, um, like I say, we were working on, Germans are very, 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 very resourceful. I say I love them very much. Like I say, I would, uh, <laughs> I would die for a German, any day, or or a Jewish person. Like um, they're they're very good people. Some of the best people. Um, anyway, though, they're really good inventors. They're they're really good at toy making. They were really amazing people, and they really cared, and they just wanted to live, eat, and survive. That was it have a wife you know the simple things anyway i remember them pretty well <clears throat> anyway auschwitz and some of my other concentration camps i had like i said i was massively wealthy and had um like 36 sites you know and then there was the cities as well there's the cities and then there was the work camps and i think the work camps you could go back in there if you wanted to be safe or something i had safety sites basically or if you didn't feel you were safe in the outside world, you could go there and you'd be within the protection of the gates. Like I said, those gates weren't meant to keep people keep people in. They were meant to keep people out. It was places where people could go and just live, work, and nothing would ever harm them. You know, safety sites. They couldn't harm each other, but, you know, people on the outside, if people wanted to kill them or wanted to take their belongings or whatever, they could go in there and they could have their things and not have to worry about, you know, waking up to someone rummaging through their boxes or, or things. Like I said, we actually, I think we started lists at, one, at some point in time. <clears throat> there was a list of everyone's belongings. When you bought a belonging, you would log it with the, um, with the worksite manager. And the worksite manager knew what you owned. I would take photographs of your of your box, and if anything was missing in the boxes, they would go dorm to dorm looking for that item. So there was almost no theft in the uh, in Auschwitz or or Croc or Crocktail or whatever um, on concentration camps. Like nobody stole anything because you know every box was was photographed, and then that photograph went up on the wall, and. Uh, and so if someone was missing something, they would go box to box. They would search every inch of that concentration camp looking for every stone on every stone. You know, they would find that, 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 that watch. And then that person would be put in jail. You know, so there was almost no theft. You know, a lot of people complain. You know, well, I mean, a lot of people liked it because they didn't have to worry about their belongings. Like, 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 like you, you make an e-cigarette or buy an e-cigarette and you put it in your box. You get a photograph. And you didn't have to worry about that, 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 that item would be there when you got home from work. Like I said, what we do is we just lock the buildings. So during the day, uh, during the day or when the workers were at, were at work, I think we had day rooms and then we had work and then we had sleeping rooms. And so all their items 
be locked in their rooms. So when they got back, they'd still be there. Anyway, um, I ran a tight ship, like I say. Uh, the, the White Star Line ship, uh, basically all my work sites, you know, um, we used photographs, we used documentations, and things were safe. People were safe. A girl could wear a short skirt or go skinny dipping and not have to worry about five men trying to jump her. You know, like I said, they would, there, there was bathing rooms, there was other rooms, there was even showers where people could shower naked and not have somebody attack them. Like I say, there was abuse and rape and other things were not tolerated. If it came to putting a bullet in someone's head, that's what my guards did. They were paid very well to maintain order, law, and personal boundaries. And that's what they did. They did their job. And so, maybe the cities were the land of, of, of whatever, but the, 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 the Auschwitz and other work sites were absolute order. So, you know, like I say, the Germans and other groups prided themselves in how safe the work sites were. Eventually, of course, I was taken down by the Yankees, but stiff resistance, as they say. We did not go quietly into the night. Anyway, that's why it's Star Manufacturing. White Star Lines. Lucifer White Star Lines. So, anyway, that's how I got America. That's how I built other, other cities. Hmm. Anyway, um, all they can do is basically um, talk shit, as they say. All they can do is lie about my work sites. You can't match me, so. Anyway, I was really good and better. I really was. My people really loved me. So. We had dental. We had hygiene. We had other inspections, checking for cancer. The first cancer checks on the breasts. We found cancer. We found all kinds of things. They would check every inch of a, of, of a woman's body and, you know, especially after they died. And we identified them, identified what killed them. Like I said, I didn't just, I wasn't just happy with, oh, she died. I wanted to know why they died. So we started cutting open human bodies to find the cause. Dead human bodies, of course. We'd wait until they died, of course. Anyway, my people were really good. And that's how I got stars, the star on top of the Russian thing. That's star manufacturing. You could put stars on the ends of the bullets. You could look at some of the old bullet casings and you'll see a little star on the bottom. Lucifer White Star Line. We made our own bullets. We made our own everything. So, anyway, that's what that meant. And stars on the thing, stars on the clothes. They wore it with pride. It meant that they were protected and safe. And no one would ever hurt them. At least as long as I could keep them safe. Which actually was a very, 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 very long time, I believe. <laughs> like I said, I would die. <laughs> I was a little bit outrageous, a little prideful, I guess you could say. I felt like I was a ship that I could take on anything. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs>